we already know that set negative 1 is i. Okay, so what will happen if we square up that i? So i square should be the set of negative 1. We square that up. Okay, so that should be negative 1. Alright, so what will happen if we have i cubed? So negative 1 basically just times again with another i. Alright, so i cubed means i square times by i, isn't it? So before this, we already agree that i square is negative 1. So negative 1 times by i, that should be negative i. Alright, so consequently, if you have i to the power of 4, like this one here, so that should be 1. Okay guys. So next, ha, let us look into our question here, right? So now the question asking you to find the values of m and n, where z1 is equal to 4 minus i and z2 equal to m plus n i, but at the same time, z1 is equal to Okay, this is actually the solution already. Since z1 equal to z2, so by comparing, we should know that 4 minus i is equal to m plus n i. So by comparing, m is straight away 4, while n is negative 1. Okay, guys. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Alright, okay. This one is a bit challenging maybe. So we have a plus b plus with a minus b in the bracket with i in it. Okay, so what will happen if you have this kind of question and you need to find a and b. So straight away, compare. The keyword is always compare. Always compare. The real part of the z is our complex number, right? The real parts and the imaginary parts. So now we have our real parts is actually a plus b equal to 6. But our imaginary part would be a minus b equal to 4. So this should be our two equations. Okay, so the formula is quite simple, guys. If you have two unknowns, unknowns to solve, which in our case here is A and B, we always need two equations um, in order for this to be solved. Alright, so now just solve 1 plus 2. You can use elimination. You can also use substitution still remember from your secondary school uh, please recap on that so what will happen here is i'm adding these two equations so a plus b equal to 6 a plus a that should be 2a but b plus minus b that's gone that's already zero so 6 plus 4 it's done all right so a equal to 5 huh? So meanwhile, 5 minus b is equal to 4, taking from this equation here. So subsequently, your b should be equal to 1. So that is our answer. Okay, so sorry for the very quick explanation. So our answer should be a equal to 5 as well as b equal to 1. Alright, so now... Next question, we have w minus 2i and z equal to negative 7 plus 5i. Find zw, alright. So find zw means you just have to multiply them together. Okay, I already attached final answer here. But then I want you guys to do this by yourself. Ok. 
Okay. So, familiarize with the word DIY. Ya? Bukan kedai je nama DIY. So, please submit this also. Submit this. Into GC. Your own classroom. Alright. Okay. So, to our next video people.